Hey there, Middle Earth Strange Valve Gamers. So we're here in the special unboxing. So uh, when the rules for the hop, like the, the there and back again rules book, first got announced, when they said they were going to finish all the models, they were going to announce, you know, and release all the stuff that they had not released, mm -hmm. the initial launch. The first thing that came to my mind was... Let, let me just interrupt you there real quick. Even before then. Yeah, even before then. Yeah. When you first, the opening scene for the Unexpected Journey. Opening scene of the Unexpected Journey. They show Thranduil right up on his elk. And, I, and, and before that, I was playing Merc, but I started playing Merc with Lord, back before the Hobbit even came out. And I was like, oh, we're going to get an elk. And he never came out. So then when they're back again, or sorry, the Battle of Five Armies trailer came out, they showed Thranduil on the elk. The model never came out. No. So... When they first announced the uh, their mechan, they said, "Oh, well, we're gonna make all the stuff that didn't, you know, that was in the their Battle of Armies movies." This is what they released. This is what I pre-ordered the second it came up on Forge World, the Battle of Five Armies Thranduil on the Elk. So uh, all the new character models are coming in these fancier boxes, which I really like, and. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open him, unwrap him, and show you guys what he's uh, all about. So, the elk model itself adds a different dynamic to how Thrandall is not have it. Okay. Um, he is uh, a little bit beefier. He has a little bit more wounds. He has his special rule. He's a little more expensive in points, but I think he's worth it. And here it is. Ooh. So here's Thrandall. He comes with this base. This scenic base. And it looks like we've got two sprues in here. And here's the uh, Forge World. I don't know what that... If, I, if it's like a seal of approval or something, Forge World. Alright, so here's what we got. Two boxes. This box looks like it contains the ruins. And this box looks like it contains Thranduil. So we'll start with the runes. So when I first saw it, ah, so look, we got some good detail in here. Looks like we got a dead, decapitated, gun to bad orc. We got the other part of the base. So it forms a, yeah, it forms a circle. It forms a circle so you can put Thranduil. It looks like you put it on this, this size base here. Here's the base you put the elk on. It's like a nice cool uh, stone. Yeah. It has a uh, Uruk-hai. It has the head. So it might actually <clears throat> plug in together. Like all... And then here's a, uh, that's interesting, here's a wall, like part of the base. This part's flat, which I think is interesting, because I, I figured this part would be like this as well. That's a cool extra. And then it comes with the regular 40 millimeter that yeah. you just put that on, it looks like. So you just glue this on top, on top of the uh, copper base. That's cool. I mean, when they first, when I first saw the model... Uh, I was excited to see. Uh, I was a little bit worried about the scenic part. I thought it was going to be a little more expensive, but it was the same price as Dane. Uh, Dane comes a little bit on a scenic base with his uh, hog and uh, on the rock and on the uh, foot version. Okay, so then here is the Thrandall. And I've seen a bunch of pictures of him, and he is really detailed. Really do tell. I think, uh, by the way, one highlight I think of Thranduil is Lee Pates. He was a really, really good elf lord. Yeah, he was a really good. I think he kind of brought that character to life really So here's well. the uh, body, the elk. Okay. He comes really well packaged. Comes really well packaged. He has a bunch of these foam. That's one thing I was kind of. Uh, and I can the detail. I could already tell the detail on this is outstanding. Looks like here's part of his cape. <clears throat> the 
Okay, so here's Thrandable, his body. I mean, that even looks like Lee Pace. Yeah, oh yeah, that looks really good. So that looks a lot better than the um, 80s rocker that they came out with the... Uh, yeah, the the original one. I don't know if I can how good that can get, but... Uh, and or the... Uh, I mean, honestly, when the Thrandle came out for the Battle of Five Armies initial launch release... Uh, I mean, I like the model and stuff, but he, I don't... You I, wanted that. I'm you wanted, wanted the Elk. You wanted the yeah, Lee wanted, Pace. He, yeah. I guess he looked a little bit, but not yeah. as much as this. That this one movie. looks, I mean... Even if, even though the elk is a little more expensive than the horse, I'll probably always take him on the elk now, just so I can use this model. Yeah. Uh, here's a sword. It has a little bit of flash on it, which I know some of the Iron Hill stuff did, and the spears and stuff. Uh, it's an easy kind of shave. And remember, these forge rolled stuff, you have to um, wash it, rinse off, and scrub it before you uh, start painting. Here's the uh, some pillars. Let's say it goes onto the scenic base. We got the antlers for the elk. Two big antlers. Which he uh, actually did a elk conversion. It turned out pretty good. He's actually one of our battle, a couple of our battle reports. Yeah, he's in there. Um, but I like this better. Yeah. <laughs> it just it makes that one look bad. Okay, and we got uh, elk head. Just the detail on the elk. Is awesome. Part of his leg. And then we got his other two legs right here. And we got one more bit. Yep. This is uh oh it's part of his cape. Looks like. Cape and maybe some hair. Yeah, cape and some hair, I think. Although I won't really know. I guess I can look on the uh, instructions here. It's actually that's part of the uh, elk. That's his ears. Okay. These are his ears, and that's where the antlers plug into. And uh, yeah, that part's his hair. So it comes with a pretty good. I don't. Yeah, yeah it comes with pretty good little. A little detailed. Uh, Brochure instructions from yep. the front, and then yeah, the picture of them. So yeah, no, this is a really uh, cool set. I cannot wait to put it together. Um, before we conclude, we'll do kind of how we did with uh, Sam's. We'll go over the uh, profile for Thrandall. Okay. So um, okay. So we can't uh, go over. Uh, so we went over the Iron Hills stuff when we did with Sam. So we'll go over Thrandall. So really, ultimately, what has changed was, I think he got a little bit more expensive. The initial Battle of Five Armies book was a little small magazine that came in a white dwarf. Yeah. Which we have. <laughs> which, which I have, and I used that profile in Nova last year. It was actually a pretty good profile, but he got a little bit more expensive. I think rightfully so. I think he was, he was, he was real good for what he could do then. Um, he has to get a little, a little bit better with the elk. Yeah, the elk, the elk buffs him. Let's see if I can find it. His profile, I think it's actually before them. All the heroes are different. It's, it's a little bit different this uh, for this. Uh, here it is. Yeah, so King, King of the Wooden Realm, he can take a bow, an elk, and a horse. Um, so they kind of merge the profiles from the original uh, Desolation of Smaug. They got rid of his uh, Nature's Wrath or of Dismay rule, which is uh, fine in my because they never really showed him use magic in the movies. Yeah. Okay. He comes base with heavy armor, elven cloak, two elven blades, uh, which is standard for pretty much any of the woodland uh, realms guys. Uh, he has the blade rule, uh, blade lord rule, which means he gets plus one attack per guy he gets in base combat with, which is an awesome rule. He does not get this though when he's mounted. Okay, he has expert rider, and he has woodland creature, which are two rules that are good. Um, and then if he's mounted on the elk, which is two wounds, defense five, so it's an armor force of two wounds pretty much. Um, he gets plus he gets strength five on the charge, so he gets plus one to his strength, which is also a really good rule. Um, his style line is fight seven, strength four, defense six, three attacks, three wounds, courage six. So he's pretty much an elf lord. And he still shoots on a two up. And he still shoots on a two up. So if he moves, he can shoot his bow, 
uh, three up. So it's a really good uh, profile, and I can't wait. This is like a model I've actually been looking forward to putting together and painting. Um, we just finished the Iron Hills. Yeah, we just finished Iron Hills, which yeah, is here. But Sam's Iron Hills. Um, so now maybe we can have a proper Battle of Five Armies kind of game. Now that we have Friend Won the Elk, yeah. I have my, all my wood. Uh, Merkwood Warriors. So well, uh, yeah, it's uh, cool, and maybe Lake Town will be sometime down the uh, road. Yeah, Lake Town. I mean, honestly, all the Battle of Five Armies armies at one point I've thought about playing. So, all right, guys. Well, that's the video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you guys want to see more content like this, then let us know in the comments below. And uh, happy wargaming.